This is the Yihua 8786D soldering station. I've been using it for all my projects that involve soldering and hot air, and I love it. On the front, we find the power and temperature controls for both the soldering iron and the hot air gun. The soldering iron feels good to the touch and isn't too heavy. On the back, we have the main switch. Without activating this switch, the unit will remain off despite activating the front switches. We also have the AC input fuse and a ground connection point. To turn on the unit, first activate the main switch and flashing lines will appear on the screens of each element. This indicates that the unit is powered. To turn on the soldering iron, activate its front switch. With the help of its arrow-shaped buttons, adjust the desired temperature. I usually set it around 370 degrees Celsius. The unit will gradually increase the value until it reaches the programmed temperature. The hot air gun has its independent controls and works similarly. The hot air begins to come out only when it is unhooked from its holder. Ambient temperature air enters through some rear slots of the hot air gun. If we place the hot air gun on its base after being used, then an accelerated cooling process begins where fresh air keeps entering it until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. The rest of the cooling to room temperature is passive. Let's do a brief demonstration. In this first case, with the help of the soldering iron set to 370 degrees Celsius, we remove a damaged capacitor from a PCB. As you can see, the soldering iron melts the tin of the previous solder, and it can be easily removed. In this other case, we apply hot air over an integrated circuit, and once the tin's melting temperature is reached, it can be easily removed. If you want a two-in-one station that includes a soldering iron and a hot air gun, then I highly recommend this one. 